did I get my boobs smaller? My my natural breasts. I'm gonna give you guys the deets on pretty much what I did. It was very simple, nothing really hard. Uh, so yeah, here it goes. Okay, so first thing I want to touch up on is my little background story. I have always had large breasts, even as a young child. Um, I started to grow breasts or little small boobs when I was in second grade. As yeah, as young as second grade, eight years old. They weren't big, but they were like, like really little. I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, they were most definitely there. I remember I didn't really pay too much attention to them or notice them until I went over a friend's house and we were in the tub and my friend at the time was like, look, you got some boobies and my chest is still flat and her mom was like in the restroom with us while we were in the tub playing and I just realized that oh my gosh like I'm already developing I'm only eight years old I'm a child I don't know I kind of felt down about it um, I didn't understand why I was developing at such a young age and now that I'm older I, I understand why by the time I got into sixth grade I was at like a double D um, I'm not sure about what my band sign band size was at that time maybe a 34 36 double d like they just like exploded from there i have pretty much been all the way up to like a 32 triple d they have gotten larger than that i have been in g's guys um as big as a g so i would say like a 34 g um especially like right after i went vegan my boobs had got really big because i was eating in a surplus so they were like a 32G. 30, 34, 32G, I cannot remember, but they were pretty large. I'll insert pictures here. And um, it was a terribly challenging for me to find bras. So these are some of the bras that I do not really wear anymore. I just have them, I have not replaced them yet. I have not been wearing a bra. Like right now, I don't have on a bra. I don't have on a bra right now, so. Um, yeah, I feel good about that. Like, I never thought in my life that I would be able to wear braless tops. Now, there are still some things that I cannot wear because my boobs do not sit up. Like, you know, they just don't sit up, up, to, up, up like that. And they're still, they're still pretty big, guys. They are still pretty big. But they're not as big as they used to be. I'm most definitely happy with what they look like now, the size, all that jazz. Right now, I am currently a 32D. So, yeah, I don't have any of my G bras anymore. I uh, pretty much gave those away or donated them. I'm not sure. I do not have them. But this bra here I've had for years. And I have it in a nude in black, but I don't really wear these anymore. I have, I guess I have to replace my bras. I've been pretty lax or lazy on that. This is a 32 triple D. Yeah, triple D. So this is like a 32 F right here. So, woohoo, really big. It looks like a like a bandeau top um and then i have this bra these are sports well this is this is a multi bra so it does come with straps but you could also wear it as a half bra oh my gosh oh my gosh i'm stuck okay so i uh took the straps off of this to wear it as a half bra um that's that 32 triple d this one is a 32 32 double d 32 double D here, so you have a triple D and a double D. But this is a sports bra. Okay, I don't really wear this anymore. And I was like, I keep it just in case. Excuse the lighting, the sun is coming, it's coming out, so the lighting might be inconsistent. But um, anyways, I'm, I'm like right next to my window. Um, this is a 32 double D. And yeah, this is what this looks like. And I have this in another color as well, but I, I don't really wear these anymore. This is these are some of the bras well, actually these are the bras i was wearing right before i got into bodybuilding so i still kept them just like just in case i gained weight but like no that their life is long gone i'm gonna donate these um to somebody personally or to just like a shelter or something somebody who's gonna really need them i know they're really small around and the cup size is big and it was really a struggle for me growing up, was finding bras. I felt very insecure about my breast. I at one point wanted a breast augmentation. Until I started bodybuilding and my body has transformed, I noticed I did not need it. And I was always on the fence about getting 
breast augmentation or any kind of surgery like if I could avoid it at all costs I would um, and this is no criticism to anybody else who has decided to get any kind of breast augmentation whether they went down as for breast reduction or got implants it's just all personal preference I just would avoid having somebody cut me open I guess it just kind of freaks me out um, so here is another bra it's another sports bra and this one is a 32F that's what I was saying, like, like you see some of these D's, like, well, the D is a D. Like, a double D is equivalent to a 32E. Because it's like A, B, C, D, E, double D, and then a triple D is equivalent to an F. So this is like a triple D, third, like a 32 triple D, 32F. I had to learn these bad bullets as I was trying to find bras, <laughs> making games. Um, here is another one, and I didn't take all, I still have more bras, but these are the ones I just took out, just took out a few just to show you guys, and I don't wear these anymore. 32, don't, wait, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, what does this say? 32H, oh my lord, this is a 32H, this is bigger than a G, 32H, right here. So, <clears throat> now I wear like the regular sports bras, I show you. These I never thought I would ever be able to get into, but now I wear them. And I wear a size small in them. Because if I go up to a medium, the band size, the cup size gives me more coverage, but the band size is way too loose. And that was a headache, a pain. Now like the, the uh, band size on the small fits perfectly fine, it's comfortable. And then most of the time like the cups or the, there's enough, there is enough material to cover up my bosoms. So, um, like a 32, I'm not a 32, an extra small bra like this, I don't know if I even have one. I honestly don't. I, I, I just stick with smalls uh, on these. If they don't have my size, then I usually just, and I think I have at one point maybe bought an extra small. Actually, I do have one, but my boobs, just a little bit, but it looks like the top is supposed to do that. But, um, yeah, so that's the scoop on my background story of large breasts run in my family on both sides so not everybody that's a female in my family has large breasts but the majority of them do so it's really genetic so another thing that causes your boobs to be bigger is your diet um, how much you're eating and what you're eating well that's what I noticed with me with my body so as a child I never really Hey, good. <laughs> I, honestly, I mean, I think that's most people. You just kind of live freely. You, the pressures are really low. Me adjusting my diet, whether it was good or bad, really did have an impact on the size of my breasts. Because your breasts are made up of mostly fat. You have two different tissues. You have your gland, glandular, glandular tissue glandular tissue and then you have your adipose tissue or you know fatty fatty tissues in the breast and so the majority of the breast is made up of fat so if you're losing weight you're creating a calorie deficit and you create your deficits through exercise and through diet uh, your choices in food and the bulk or the volume of food that you take in you create a deficit and you start to lose fat you start to lose weight all around um, now at one point, this was just recent, like during, they call it Vulcan season, that's pretty much holiday season, you know, Thanksgiving, kickoff, and all that jazz. Um, I was gaining weight, but I was still working out. I don't know, it was weird because I was like still small, but my boobs were getting bigger. It's, I'll try and insert a picture. So I noticed that eating a lot of processed foods, it just, it makes, it just makes eating a lot of them in a surplus or just yeah, eating a lot of them in a surplus or just too much, like I say, every day, pretty much causes my boobs to inflate. Eating them too consistently, that if that makes any sense, I'm sorry. But as soon as I adjust my diet, I start eating clean, whole plant-based foods, a balanced diet. I eat a whole plant-based foods diet and it has worked wonders. So that's another thing that has um, really contributed to me having smaller breasts is making the right diet choices, eating clean. When I say clean, like no processed foods or anything like that, you can still eat pretty sloppy as a vegan. They do have a lot of processed foods. You can still gain weight and be fat. Like I, I wanna say be fat, that's not nice. Um, 
just you can still gain weight so yeah so the beginning of my my journey for instance i even though i was eating a lot of raw foods like fruits especially vegetables mo mainly fruits i was eating a lot of them in an, in an in an excessive amount so i was gaining a lot of weight all around my body and with that it like it just went to my boobs like anytime i gain weight the first thing that i feel like the, the, the first thing that just explodes or most of the fat I carry whenever I gain weight is in my breasts and is in my face. And whenever I lose weight, I lose my butt. And then the last things I, <clears throat> the last few things I lose are like my boobs and my stomach. But hey, that's life. I do train chest, my pectoral muscles here, and it does help with support. And I will do a video on, see, some chest exercises that you could do to help build a muscle here. I also train back, my back muscles. So, I don't know, like your your back muscles will help with support, holding you up with great posture. So, you know, if you're heavy, naturally heavy chested like me, it's you can find it easy to slouch, especially if your core muscles are not built or tight, it's very easy to slouch. So uh, training your chest muscles and back muscles will help with the support of your chest, your breast area, keeping you up right and making your boobs look perky. Um, even though my boobs are, are fairly large, I, I can still wear stuff that doesn't require a bra. Like I could wear a bra with this, but I didn't want to, <laughs> I did not. Really challenge yourself diet wise and, and really challenge your body physically. I weight train. You don't have to necessarily weight train in order to stay active. Do something that you enjoy. Make sure you stay active. Create a deficit and, and do it consistently. And then you will see results. So you with you losing fat or all around your body, body fat percentage, your boobs are going to get smaller. So you just have to stay consistent with it. And so I hope you guys found this helpful. Leave your questions and comments down below. I will see you next video. Um, I'm gonna make some more videos to help those with the uh, larger breasts. Um, it's just show you guys what I basically I do to keep these my boobs kind of supported. So yeah, I love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.